Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. This is going to be my first update for my finished 5 by Fall project pan. This was started up again by Kristen K here on YouTube and the Daisy Girly or Stephanie. So thank you both for allowing me to join in on this project. I chose to focus on five products to finish by the first day of fall, which I believe is either September 22nd or September 21st. And I actually have some empties this update. So let's get into my empties and I can show you my progress. Oh, and before I forget, I do have a little guest in my background. I'm currently watching my friend's little dachshund puppy and he's very needy so you'll probably see him throughout this video I'll show a close-up of him at the end of the video first. Let's start off with my empties So I finished off my beach night summer marshmallow fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works I was here at my intro and I have finished it. I brought this to Mexico with me I used it as a body mist and as a room spray and it worked really well that way It wasn't the most long-lasting fragrance mist ever, but it did smell really good. I love this scent and I definitely want to pick up more of this when the next semi-annual sale hits. This is a great scent and it just smells like marshmallows. I finished off my Touch and Soul Metallus Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo The Glitter Part and this is in the shade Talia. I got about five more uses in this after my intro video so as you can see it's all empty. This is a gorgeous lid shade. I wore this on my friend's wedding day for my bridesmaid makeup. I'm actually watching her puppy while she's on her honeymoon. It had minimal fall throughout the day. This was a really good product, and it's something I would consider purchasing in the future. Now to the products that I still have. So I still have the cream shadow part of that Touch and Soul Duo, and here is what a swatch of it looks like. It is a gorgeous champagne shade super pretty and you can't really see a whole lot of progress on it because I only wore this when I wore the glitter and there's more product in here than in the glitter but it's gorgeous it has a really weird applicator this isn't what it normally looks like in the full size I just have the deluxe samples but as you can see I'm still pulling out a decent amount of product on the applicator it's still really beautiful and I'm excited to wear this underneath just regular eyeshadows because I was only using this with the glitter so this is really nice. I'm looking forward to working more on it. Next I have my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. So I'm going to insert my picture from the intro video. Here's what mine currently looks like. So I don't think I've expanded the pan a whole lot, but I have hit the side a little bit and worked down on that. So I'm currently working on the top here and hopefully I can hit the full side and clear it out by the next update. I'm updating every three weeks so I'm not sure if I can do that but I'll try to do it. So it is a nice full coverage concealer. Here is a little swatch of it. It does look fairly orange on my hand currently but it does match my skin fairly well. It's actually a little bit light for it right now but it still works really well. I do want to use this up because MAC isn't cruelty free and I do want to try out other concealers. Lastly for the products that I still have, I'm currently working on my Lip Goddess 24 Karat Gold Lip Balm so I'm going to insert a picture from the intro video. Here's where I'm at now. I've definitely made a ton of progress on this lip balm. I use it all the time. I also use it on dry parts of my body, which I don't really care that much if it's unsanitary because it's my own body and I only use it when my body's clean. So I have been getting a lot of use out of it that way. I'm looking forward to using it up because I have had it for at least nine months. So hopefully I can finish this up by the next update. So I'm gonna add two more products since I did finish two products. So the first one I'm going to share with you is my Lorac Behind the Scenes Deluxe Sample Eyeshadow Primer and I am down here. This didn't really come with a lot of product. I believe the last one I used up was full, but this one maybe came with like that much product. So I have used a decent amount of it and hope I can finish up at least half of what I have left by the next update. I do like this eyeshadow primer, but I don't believe Lorac is cruelty free or at least their cruelty free status is pretty shady. So I do want to try out another eyeshadow primer. I kind of want to try out one of the new Smashbox ones. It's like the photo finish one, but it has a tint to it. So I'm looking forward to hopefully buying that eventually, but this is a good eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be fine with using it up. I just realized I was off center so I apologize for that. The next product I'm adding in is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Deluxe Sample Mascara. So this is my gimme product but I only have about a month and a half left for this project. So here's what the wand looks like. It's extremely thin. I like to use this on my bottom lashes but I also like to use this to separate my lashes and mix it with other mascaras. It's fine. It's not really the best mascara ever but it's not the worst. So I'm just looking forward to using it up. 
but it's been nice to try out. So anyway, those are the products that I am going to be working on for my finished 5 by fall. And also here is Winston. He's the puppy that I'm watching. He's super tired right now, but he was just playing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and definitely check out Kristen K and Stephanie. I'll have them linked in my description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye!